man. Well, if you watched yesterday's video right to the end, I warned you. It's snowing. Just like they said it would. I was really hoping they were going to be wrong. It's April 12th, 2021. And it's supposed to be snowing for the next three days. Two to five inches. Or seven to ten centimeters. I think that's about two to five inches. Ah, wait, no, two to five centimeters? Is that two to five inches? No. Seven to ten centimeters. That's not that much. I got my inches all wrong. I don't know. I need my coffee. One second. This is very important. Did I get a large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso, please? That's it. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, they definitely, uh, they definitely cranked up the brightness on their uh, drive-through sign again. Their menu there. Oh, I got a purple spot in my eyes. Whoo! So yeah, today's going to be very interesting, along with the rest of this week. It's going to be what many would call a miserable week, but we're going to find a way to make today a good day. We'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, and we're going to find a way. I don't know how yet, but we'll figure it out. Well, it looks like the snow is melting pretty quickly, but it's fallen pretty quickly as well. Not sure how much of a buildup we will actually get, but... Hashtag not impressed. I'm actually done with winter. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, well, she is not gonna want to wake up. She's got no choice. We got trucking to do. Look at this mess. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, she's got good oil in her, so let's see if she wants to wake up. <sighs> you ready? Oh, thank God. She still likes me. Let the fun begin. And then I hook onto a trailer here and uh, bring it into Winnipeg. Wondering if that's the trailer I need that the uh, yeah he's backing in over there. Could be. Well that was the trailer that was for me that he was uh shunting over here. Apparently it's uh <laughs> I'm lucky they did move it. He's actually uh fixing the spot where it was there right now. That's Brendan. And uh this must be a very heavy load, where I can tell it's a very heavy load just by looking at my gauge here and all three axles are down on the back of here. I'll show you in a little bit. So it's a heavy load of lattice. Like, uh, not lettuce, but lattice, like wooden lattice. I'll show you in a minute. And it's sunk right down. Even though it had uh, dolly pads underneath it, it sunk right into the soft ground. So he had to go and lift it out and pull it out of there for me. I'm glad he did, otherwise I'd never be able to hook up to this thing. <laughs> we got a heavy load. Let's see, let's take my gloves with me. This is gonna be messy. He's just fixing the spot where the landing gear sunk right in. It's crazy because it's not that... Whoa, oh boy. Oh boy, it just started snowing a lot heavier. One second, my lens is probably all full of snow. Okay, lattice, like this, you see? All the way to the back, I'm guessing. I can't see. Can you see? This is a step deck. I'm gonna go pick up the paperwork right away, find out where it came from. It smells great in here though. It smells like fresh cut wood. And 
nowadays smells like a lot of money. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. We just gotta keep saying it and ignore all of this white stuff. It's gonna be a good day. Somehow, somehow it'll be a good day. All my lights are working, so that's a good day. That's very good. All my tires are filled with air. I already checked them. That's a good day. See, this uh, rear lift axle is down. So that was my first hint that this was a heavy load when I first saw the trailer. So it's a roll tight covered step deck. Constanoga, is that what you guys wanna call it? I call it roll tight, okay? Roll tight. That's what we'll call it from now on because that's what everyone here in the yard calls it. Got it. Oh, it's all the way to the back here. It's more than just lattice. It's wood there, oh boy. So I've got a load of gold here right now. Price of lumber nowadays. This is where the trailer was. He already covered it up with some fresh gravel. Hey, it was on dolly pads, but it's still sunk right in. This is actually the empty lineup, but since we have so many trailers, you can see they're already all blocking in over there. We've uh, got such a full yard that he probably had no other place to drop it. At least they use dolly pads, but it's still sunk anyway. That side, all of those trailers there, there's a concrete pad that goes all the way along there for landing gear. So a load of trailers are supposed to be on that side if at all possible. But sometimes it's not possible. Like I said, this, this yard is so full right now. There's trailers in every corner. It's the weekend, or it was the weekend, it's Monday now. So every weekend it gets a little bit full in the yard. and. You do what you can, right? And what else can you do other than put dolly pads down? It's not supposed to sink, but the ground gets so soft in spring. Sometimes she sinks anyway, but we were able to lift her up and get her out. We have a heavy load behind us. Have I said that yet? Let's go get the paperwork and find out exactly how heavy. And by the way, if you're wondering how you can help out my channel very, very simply and for free, uh, it helps me out a lot if you guys hit the thumbs up button. And it helps me out even more if you hit the thumbs up button and share it. If you at least hit the thumbs up button, that really does help me with the YouTube algorithms, and I really do appreciate that. So go ahead and smash that like button. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, I've got the paperwork here. Da -da -da, what do we got? Total weight, 54,250 pounds of wood. That's definitely a tri-axle load, uh-huh. That's why all three axles are on the ground. So I'm probably sitting right now, about 35,000 pounds, just my truck empty with the trailer. So, you know, we're looking at probably close to 90,000 pounds I have on the ground here that I'm maneuvering through this snowstorm. Hooray! Actually, that's good. The heavier you are in weather like this, the better. Oh okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Fun. Come on, buddy. You're okay. I saw you there. One more yet. I see you. They just got back from the southern U.S. and Mexico. <laughs> it's still snowing here. I see one over there already. I don't know if the camera's going to pick them up off to the right. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, of course. Very confused geese. Oh, we're going to have to pull hard. Wow, that's heavy. Okay. I haven't hauled a heavy load like this in a little while. A few of my geese friends. Morning, guys. Did you miss me? A couple more over here. One over there, too. Good morning. 
Monday morning. The weather's great, isn't it? Aren't you glad you came back already? Poor geese. Next. Okay. We're on the perimeter around Winnipeg again. The perimeter highway in Winnipeg is what we have called our ring road. It goes all the way around Winnipeg in a circle. It's the perimeter. So it looks like this week is starting off busier than last week already, so that's good. I have this heavy load to bring into the north side of Winnipeg and then I have to rush back. There's another one for me to do right away. So no messing around. Lots to do. Well, the city is worse. Yikes. And people are just as aggressive as they usually are. Yeah, they've gotten a lot more here than we had in Steinbeck this morning. I wonder how long this storm is really going to last, if it's actually going to last three days. The farmers are probably really happy about this though, because our soil was pretty dry. They were hoping for rain from what I heard. I mean, this isn't rain, but it does the same thing for them, I'm guessing. been cut off like once or twice. Taking it real easy though with this heavy weight behind us. All of these people in these little cars here, they don't realize how heavy I am. They should just assume that I am fully loaded, but you know, if you haven't driven trucks before, you probably don't even know what that kind of weight feels like on the highway. And I took the winter tires off our terrain yesterday, put the summer tires back on. Whoops! Jumped the gun a little there, didn't I? I thought we were safe. Having fun. We're having fun. Lots and lots of fun. Glad I brought along two pairs of gloves. Because this pair got completely soaked, so I'm letting that dry up here. While I'm using my other ones, my old ones, and hopefully by the time these get too wet for me, those will be dried off. It's a beautiful April day. Well, hey, as soon as we're unloaded and got the trailer button back up, that's that's something good. That'll be a good day. I'm soaked to the bone. feet are wet, my shoes are soaked. That was a nightmare and the only good part of it was that it is now over. So it's a good day because the nightmare is over. Man, I don't know how this trailer was tied down but like every strap was put in backwards and through this and through that and it took me forever to get everything out. And it wouldn't have been that bad if everything wasn't caked in snow and slush. But uh, we got it done. Yeah, that's our job, right? That's what we do. We're truck drivers. It doesn't matter what the weather is like. We get the job done. Even if it is a bit of a nightmare. But it is a good day because the nightmare is over. It's time to go get our second load. and Hopefully that one is a little bit nicer to us. Some kind of accident up here. Why is this guy in the way? <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
Well, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the best day. <laughs> but it was a good day. It's a really good day because we're going home now. It's five o'clock. The day's work is done. Delivered two roll tight loads. The second one went pretty smoothly. I just took that one to Stonewall, uh, which is north of Winnipeg, about an hour from here and back. That one worked nicely, the trailer worked nicely, the freight came off nice, everything was organized on the trailer. That first trailer I delivered though, that was just a nightmare. The weather was working against me, the snow was clogging everything up and it was like a wet, thick snow. So it just soaked me right down to the bone right away. But that was okay, I could have lived with that, but the roll tight I was dealing with just did not want to work for me. Uh, as it got loaded, uh, because it was, it took up the whole trailer, so I couldn't get in there. And there's a bunch of straps that got caught up in the wheels, and it jammed the wheels on one side, and it took me a half hour to unjam those. It was, it was one thing after another with that trailer, but we, we got it done. And uh, we'll have a good attitude about it. At least that is done. You can't always have the best days. But you can always turn any day into a good day. I mean, we still got lots of day left. It's five o'clock. Well, we still got lots of time to make it a good day. Just because the majority of the day didn't go the best. I'm trying hard here. It's, it wasn't a, it wasn't a very good day. It was a, it was a good day though, at times. <laughs> We are not supposed to have snow at this time of year. I was, I'm so over winter already. But hey, we can go home and have supper. Look at this mess. Look at this April mess. This is, this is blasphemy. Snow in April. That's against my religion. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure there's a verse somewhere that says there shall not be snow in winter in April. So, snow or winter in April. What did I say? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> there shall not be snow or winter past my birthday. It's a new commandment. I just made it up. Uh, we're going to put it right on in there. It'll be in the presses tomorrow. All right. Don't forget to get your updated version. Trucker Josh. Frank, what you doing? Look at this mess. Did I say that already? Our yard's gonna be all soggy again. <laughs> oh well. And I know a lot of people might say, well, what do you expect? You live in Manitoba. And you would be right. However, this is very abnormal. This is not usual. Oh, we got ourselves a winner over there. Better go get the big old pooper scooper. Way to go, Frank. Proud of you. Well done. Yeah, I hear you. Go on. Go on, you have my permission to enter my abode. Oh, it smells like food in here. <laughs> I like it in here a lot better than out there, that's for sure. Today, anyway. Tomorrow might be a different story. Who knows, it's Manitoba. Might be beach weather tomorrow. Never know what's going on. What's for dinner, Chevy? for dinner it smells like chicken like broccoli like rice like casserole mm -hmm. oh that's good just wait wait for it there he is. <laughs> Always has to know where I am. And in the evenings, I come in here and I edit my videos and they come in here and keep me company. I really like how much room we have in here now. It's, it's like a whole new space. Well, it's time for me to get to work. Work isn't finished for today yet. At least this part of my work, I can do indoors. See you guys tomorrow. Chevy, you wanna say anything to them?
You want to say anything? Hi guys, um, I'm Shelby. This is my dad. Shelby. Can you sit? You can keep me company? Sometimes Diesel goes out and sits in the living room and watches TV with Britt, but Chevy is always right here. Right here. <laughs> Good boy. So you know that every vlog you watch of mine is closely supervised by this guy. Every single one. <laughs> You're like a cat. You like your butt scratched. You weirdo. Weirdo. You weirdo. Look at this tail. Majestic. <laughs>